Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls, boils and girls, welcome to another M19 draft here on youtube.internet slash twitch tv slash me dot net. And we're going to take this foil alpine moon because it is like 17 tickets. Just kidding. It's probably like a dollar. I just made that whole thing up. That whole spiel was just made up. Let's check. I don't want to be a fool. It's a dollar oh three. God, can I get more correct? No, I'm maximum correctness right now. I'm just going to take this Dryad Green Seeker. We just drafted green. So, we went 3-0? Who went 3-0? We did? Dr green Seeker is just OP. I don't care if I was already green. I'll be green again. What do we want to do here? Snapper? Gor Gorgle? Gorgle Cent Sentinel? Fiery Fanouche, Snapper, Gorgle, <laughs> oh boy, boy oh boy, I like Snapping Drake, I like Gorgle because it lets us stay open in case you want to be, I'm going to take the Gorgle, We knocked out a draft while you were gone. Apparently, chatting us with should probably man. You guys drafted a whole draft in the like the couple minutes I was gone, and then you won it all. You guys are impressive. I'm impressed. Gonna see your true colors. Why do I have this Cindy Lauper song stuck in my head? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. Look at this, two uncommons? We can basically not lose. Gargoyle is like a, uh, it's like just a better snapping drake. That can be killed by naturalize. Wow, mono black aggro with flash assassins? Woo. You guys are next level in these drafts. Oh, aerial engineer? And we already got the gorgle? Or is it open the graves? It's one of these two it's one of these two cards. Black green seems good, right? Do we finally try the Aerial Engineer deck? With the Gorgle? I'm gonna let you guys pick. Open the graves or Aerial Engineer. Oh, two for open the graves. Okay, three for graves. That's all I need to see. Sorry, you guys. Julian, you weren't fast enough, buddy. That's why I love you. Now we can take this hard blade. You guys said this was real good in your 3-0 draft that you did in the uh, in the interim. It's probably better than walking corpse, right? I don't like oak and former roots in there. If we could, we if we took the uh, the white the white blue guy, we could have taken Pegasus here. I want to take Hard Blade. I'm not super impressed by it, but whatever. Wow, you guys are still talking about that weird format? If I give you guys a channel in the Discord, could you? would you rather talk about it there? Yeah, Open the Graves also makes combat really really good for you and really bad for your opponent. How about a stipulation? If you open Patient Rebellion in Pack 1, you have to pick all the mill cards. I mean... If someone supplied that stipulation, I would do it, obviously. But we'd have to open it. And there's really, like, no mill cards in this format. Like, this isn't a mill card format, really. I'm going to take the Aviation Pioneer, and maybe we're just... This card is better than any of the green or black cards in this pack. So I'm going to take this. 
and see if we're blue black instead. Yeah, I mean, giant spider is okay. Is it better than anticipate? I don't think so. Is Aviation Pioneer and Anticipate better than Giant Spider and Green Seeker? I don't know. I don't like Manolith here. That's boring. I mean, it's actually fine. I think I'd rather just have the Anticipate. Wall of Mist? I don't actually hate Wall of Mist. That's fascinating to me. That's why I love you. To see your true colors. I, I don't hate Aether Tunnel. It's basically, yeah, we'll just take the Aether Tunnel. Oh, no, Green Speaker is busted. Oh, my bad. Who knew? Aven Wind Mage or Gearsmith? All right, we're taking you out. We're going to try the blue here instead. We could also be blue green. Like, open the graves is not necessarily. I think it's this five drop. I think the five five is better than the Aven Wind Mage. Especially with the Aether Tunnel, we can just put that, put a tunnel on that boy. Also, Aether Tunnel on this guy is just a five, five power a turn. Yeah, that's pretty, that's probably, I mean, like, it's the best card in this pack, if, unless we want the Dollar Alpine Moon. Which we might, actually, I'm just going to take the Dollar. Yeah, because this guy's right here anyway, so that doesn't matter. Child of Night. Oh, 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 sweet Child of Night. Actually, Aether Tunnel on a Child of Night is pretty good, too. Three three lifelink a turn unblockable. Aether Tunnel is probably pretty good. I think this card is actually pretty good. Uh, don't care about any of these cards. I will take the Root Snare. Now I'll take the Talons. Now I'll take this Amulet. That's a good sideboard card. Uh, not in limited, per se, but in general that I would like to have. Yes, I can see an Aether Tunnel being quite quite good on a Vine Mare. I don't hate these eight cards. In fact, I think they're pretty good. Oh, a Hungering Hydra, like you do. There's also a Sift, a Divination, and a Salvager of Secrets. I actually like Sift here the best. Hungering Hydra's cool, but, I mean... When is it really good? Like, five mana, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Which is fine. We have Gearsmith Guardian. That competes with that. It's six mana for a 5-5. Five, five. I mean, the card's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying that, like... We could also cut the black. I mean, Sift is just great, though. It's either Hydra or Sift, I'm pretty sure. Secrets is great, but we don't have anything that really goes with it. I'm going to take Hungry Hydra. I think it's a much stronger card, especially if we do get a Manolith like this one. Uh, here, I think it's just Snapping Drake. I don't think we're playing Green Seeker. I think we're just splashing this. Especially if we can get, like, the lands for it. Oh, Psychic Corrosion. And a Sift. I'm actually just going to take the ah, Skeletal Archer. That was very, very good. I think we just want the Sift, though. Drawing three is pretty OP. Plus, it does keep us a little more green. A little less black, I should say. Hired Blade, I'm not convinced on Child of the only The only card I really want the black for is the uh, the Open the Graves. But how many Psychic Corrosions have you seen? 
I'm gonna take this Psychic Corrosion, I think. Because I have a feeling the other one comes back. Is that good? What else do we have? The problem with splashing green is that you're not going to be able to get Green Seeker on turn two because you're, you're splashing. So, I mean, obviously, I think it's I think it's Woodland Stream if we're not going to go ham and play the Psychic Corrosion. I'm real tempted to go ham and. Yeah, we're going to actually take this and, and go ham. Foul Orchard, also an option. Elvish Rejuvenator, an option. The green cards in this pack are great. I have a feeling that a Psychic Corrosion may come back. I also like Divination because of the Psychic Corrosion. Keep that in mind. I'm going to take Divination. I'm not going to focus on the Hungry... Oh, Sleep is fantastic. Why is that so late? Yeah, let's take that. That's going to keep us alive. Boneyard? Hmm, that's pretty good. Rejuvenator? That's pretty okay. Each player loses half their life, discards half their hand, and sacrifices half their... Yeah, we're not playing that. Sleep is definitely busted. I want to take the Boneyard here. And we're going to cross our fingers that the other card comes back. I'm going to take the Duress, because I don't really care about Epicure of Blood in this deck. I really want the other Corrosion to come back. I think we have a deck without the Corrosion, but... Did you guys answer me about the Discord thing? Earthador and Hossmania? Did you guys answer me? Because I definitely prefer this chat in the Discord because it's taking... I'm like, I keep going back to read the chat and I have to keep confirming that it's not... It's just you guys talking back and forth about the Penny Dreadful format. Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't mind. It's totally cool, but I just figure it would be easier for for the clarity of the chat. Because I'm more than happy to make you guys a Penny Dreadful channel. Uh, we'll take this guy. Patient rebuilding would be sick. I don't think that... Can you imagine if the stupid... The other Psychic Corrosion doesn't come back? Alright, give me... Let me... Uh, let me open the Discord. Under magic, we're going to add... What is it called? Penny Dreadful? I don't know where I just put that. It should be under the Magic channel, but... I still don't see it. No, no worries. Seriously. Microbliss. Wow, the other, it didn't come back. That's really interesting to me. All right, we may just be green. The green is looking real, real juicy here. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, that's a... Jeez. That was a great last pick. Chaos Wand. Skyrider Patrol. We can do this again. We can do this guy again. Yeah, we're definitely picking that. Let me close this and... Actually, we might have to make... Uh, it's got to update, so maybe if I do that. Let's update you. Alright, so let's take out the black. I don't think black is really where we want to be. Uh, we'll bring in Green Speaker... Corsair, Corsair, Thorn High Wolves, Giant Spider, Rabbit Bite. This does look pretty good. Chaos Wand is actually great, but I think Skyrider is better. Um, this pack is pretty unimpressive. I 
Gear per guide also not terrible. It's definitely won me a game. Or more than one. Oh, I found... Okay, there have been two of them. Okay, well, I'm deleting one. Fantastic. What's going on here? Wait, oh my god, they're disappearing. This is very confusing. Something's going on on Discord, and it's not really okay. All right, anyway. Probably, I don't think we have another four drop here. I do like Cage. Cage is great. Um, I'd rather just have a playable here, though. I don't think we're splashing off of nothing. I also don't think we need another four drop. I'd rather just have the three two than the four drop. Regal Blood Boy. It's probably just Colossal Dreadmaw here. Although getting back asleep with a Salvager is pretty strong. I have love for Boar. I just don't want another. I don't want a fifth four, a sixth four drop. I just don't think we need that right now. Oh, I figured it out. Okay, so they weren't. Okay, never mind. Okay, we figured it out. Nailed it. Um, I could see playing the Strangling Spores off of the Boneyard. Probably just want this apparatus, especially with uh, the... Now the Gearsmith only cares about blue guys, I guess. Blue boys. Could take Spores. Yeah, we'll take the Spores. I think Spores is a stronger card, because it is. Obviously. I like both of these. Like, there's nothing in this pack for us. We could take the Suspicious Bookcase, but I don't think it's great. Eh, maybe it's not terrible, actually. We don't have any two drops. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take this. Sure. Bookcase it up. I do like another Guardian in this deck. Especially because it's... Well, we only have, we only have like, two blue creatures. Three blue creatures. Could take a growth. This guy is also an option for a five drop, but he draws us a card. I don't think we need another big guy. We already have the big guys. Probably just going to take the growth here. Like, we have 15 creatures. I don't think we need another big creature. Like, we're not, we're not hurting for a big creature. I'm going to take the plummet. That's nice. What are we gonna do? This is 22 cards? This is okay. Oh, Departed Deckhand? Yes, please. That's exactly what I want. That card's great. This is like the unblockable deck. We got Bookcase, Departed Deckhand, and Aether Tunnel. This is where we just sneak in all the, all the unblockable damage. And Gearper Guide. And this guy. Oof. I mean, you're going on the sideboard, but it's nice to have you. I'll take all the Alpine Moons. I'm going to get a playset before this draft is over. Plus we have Divination and Sift, which is and Anticipate for uh, some card selection. Pretty nice. Dryad Green Seeker. This looks like the other green-blue deck we had that was fantastic. And we ended up going like 1-2 or 0-3 with it. Something ridiculous. Something unfulfillingly ridiculous. Gonna see your truth, yeah. And that's why I love you. <sighs> we have we don't have a naturalize. I can take a naturalize just in case. Yeah, take another frilly boy. 
I don't think these picks are going to be any, anything good for us. Yep. Scolare. Alright, so you're out, and this looks like the deck, right? I'm trying to green secret back hand. This deck actually looks very good. I'm a fan. 9 8, perfect. You know what I'm saying. You know how we live in. Ha. Ha. Hang enough attention? What are you saying there? What's the first part? Given a counterfeit 100, as he asked if I had changed for 100. It didn't look perfect at first, but I had a blue line, so I guess I accepted it. Looked at it later and realized it was definitely fake. Oh, that's that's messed up, man. Who's paying for ice cream with $100 bills? That guy needs to... You should be like, no, denomination's larger than 50. Because you just don't need that much ice cream. That's pretty much what it comes down to, I think. I see your true colors. It might not have been, I mean, like, he might not have been responsible for it, right? Like, it could have been just a hundred dollars he had, and then he was just like, oh no, I was given a counterfeit, and I didn't know. Interesting, interesting. Come on, no more landers. Nailed it. How divine. Four drop. Three drop I'll take. I'm gonna see your true colors. That's why I love you. I'm going to block here. Gear per guide into locks it on line breaker is totally fine. We also just play bookcase and not care about this dude at all. Which I think we're going to do, 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 do. Yeah, because we're not going to be attacking with gargoyle. I didn't know. That's what they all say. That is what they all say. Oh, we got no attack at all. We know they got nothing. You got nothing. Well, now they got something, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. All right, well, see what you got. Oh, I'll take two. Show enough. Oh man, this is wide F. Yeah, we're just gonna pay two two boys. A guidey boy and a gargi boy. The next time we can go wolves aether tunnel if we'd like. We can put the aether tunnel on the guardian. Eventually it might deal six. It's pretty good. Went back to that construction site to look for him, but he already went home for the day. Probably a good thing because after I the police. Uh, had he been there, I might have been the one going to jail. Oh my god, Matthew Orr, you gotta get it. Get it together, buddy. So one, two, I guess you kill this guy. Sure, that's unfortunate, but that's life, I guess. <laughs> Still, this one bird is the only one getting in there. 
snapping Drake. Oh, that's good. Oh boy. Let's do that. That gives us four block arenos. And then we can put tunnel on this guy, and it's like a million a million turn clock. Get in there. So six, six, and then maybe we can get in there with the Gargarino. All right, they have three cards. They're gonna play inspiring. Everyone's coming in. There's a button for this. You just hit attack all. I don't know why you didn't hit that. I guess magic's hard. What can you do? Uh, one here, one here, three, and then this guy. That's the way we block. And then you play inspiring thing. That's fine. Oh, it's not because we do because we lose the game. Cool. Cool. I had a good time. Root snare. Got him. We didn't get anybody. We will. Is it weird that there's three trumpet blast effects? There's trumpet blast, there's make a stand, and there's inspired charge. There are three plus X plus O cards in this format. That seems like a lot. It seems a little lazy, I'm going to be honest. What is your favorite magic card of each color? Good lord, how am I going to know that on the spot? That is a... That is a sizable question. I'm sorry, I said got him. What I meant to say was got him mm't, which means we didn't get him. Said got him meant to say got him mm't. So that was misspeak on my part. What I said was, that's fine. What I meant was, that's not fine. So, got a little, just a little confusion. Not a big deal. I don't think Red White's the best draft deck in the format, but we can agree to disagree. That's fine. What's the problem here? Just let it, yeah, just deal with the two damage. There's no, no triggers to respond to here. You just let it happen. Current record 1-1, one, one, game 2, down a game. How does that work? I think Red White's pretty good as well. I think there's a bunch of good archetypes in this format. I always think it's a funny thing to say that there's a you know, the best draft deck in the format uh, when the format's like a literally 11 days old or something something ridiculous like that. And drafts weren't even firing regular until like last Monday because before that it was sealed. So it's literally been like nine days <laughs> since the format's been out. I mean, I'll take four here.
What's the? I mean, like, what's going on? Just yeah, it's an attack. I get it. Okay, no blocks. Some people probably have done 50 drafts or more, sure, but that has no bearing on what the best deck in the format is. Like, the format evolves constantly. Tomorrow, it could be... I have no idea who Amanda is. Tomorrow, it could be a completely different deck, and, uh, like, it depends on how people are drafting. Like, if people start drafting the red-white deck and you're fighting for it with four other people at the table, then it's no longer the best deck in the format because you probably can't build a coherent red-white deck. Like, I think, I think best deck in the format, best draft deck especially... Uh, which is not something like best deck in standard is one thing because you can you can always put together a standard deck the exact way you want to whereas in limited you don't always get to do that so I think best limited deck best draft deck is a lot more fluid than uh, than like a, a constructed format This is where we want to hit land, land, and then no, no more lands. Two lands, and then no more lands. Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. Although they don't have much on, on board. I think we're just throwing this gear per god away at this point. Oh, I see. I guess we're not doing anything here. Land. So four, five, six, seven. We would take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know who that is, so no, I'm not a relative of that person. So we go seven, put you to 13. If you double equip, we can block one. We'll take four and go to 10. We get a turn. We'll put you to six. The alternative is just not doing anything, which is pretty bad. Ugh. Not thrilling. We could have also just actually used his ability this turn, but we get one less point and it's not a three turn clock at that point. So it also prevents us from having to use it on future turns if we just want to be aggressive and keep getting in there. So I don't I don't think we're gonna win this match actually. I, I think their their deck is a little too aggressive and we're just getting kind of bottlenecked on four mana here. But, you know, what can you do? You win some, you lose some. I'm going to draft. I'm going to a draft a bar today. What does that mean? I was wondering how many colors I can fit into a deck and reasonably expect to win. I have no idea how many colors you can fit into it. Uh, I would say three is how many you can reasonably expect to fit into a deck and win a match. Four is pushing it in this format. Five is not reasonable. Uh, I'm gonna block here because I don't. No, no, don't do that. Because I don't feel like our odds of blocking next turn get better, and I don't really want to go to six here. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So we're not dead if we attack, but we're dead if they have any trick. So we're going to sift, I guess. Let's get rid of you. If they have nothing, we win. Like, if they have nothing that can affect the board or deal us an extra two. Oh, boy. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, so... Well, we didn't die, but now we're probably dead to Trumpet Blast or whatever else they have. So we're going to hover over this Concede Game button, because they always have it. Of course you do. All right. Well, let's try again. Ah, boy. Always a pleasure, red-white deck. Always a pleasure. Oh, my matchmaking failed. That's sad. What did I miss? I mean, everything, Sammy. You've missed everything. <laughs> hey, Mike. That's funny. I didn't get that, and then I did. And it was very good. I'm a fan. All right, let's do it. Yeah, this seems fine. I will keep it. I'm 1-2? That doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Huh. I'm confused. I would have hoped for a two drop there, but we don't actually have those. I also don't know if I want to anticipate here, because we have things to do on three, four, and uh, nothing on five. So, like, anticipate's great if you need an answer to a thing. It helps you find that. The problem with our deck is we don't actually have that many answers to things. It's like a, it's like a ponder or a preordain or a serum visions. Like, it's best to play those cards when you need to find a thing. Oh, how nice. And if you know what you're looking for, because it's hard to be like, well, which one do I take? I don't know. What am I going to need to deal with? Oh, I see. Well, isn't that special? Well, we can't trigger you this turn. Next turn we can go Divination and put a 1-1 one, one on this guy, which is nice. They played a plane, so we can assume that's the... Draw two cards. Seems good. If I draw a rabbit bite, this guy's 100% dead. Hmm. Played a forest. Yep, yeah, obviously you have a rabbit bite of your own. Incredible. Yeah, I don't care about this guy anymore. If you want to Titanic growth him, that's totally fine. Never didn't have it. So 
So next turn we can Divination, try to hit a land, and then play Corsair, which is pretty good. Every time. All right. And a whiff. Up time, everything is all right. Up time, out of sight. Land, we need one land. We did it. Oh, we can play deckhand next turn, make this guy unblockable, except for spirits. I would always do it during my upkeep every time. Good lord. So good. So good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. It's absolutely incredible. No attack, huh? See, this is where you want to go. Anticipate for the rabid bite. Hungering Hydra seems like the best option of these. <sighs> yeah, we'll take the Hydra. Any order. Knights gain double strike. Yeah, that's a cool card. I'm sure that's going to be reasonable to play against. I'm sure we're not just absolutely dead here. anyone can beat them it's you yeah i'm not so sure about that buddy appreciate the vote of confidence though that was an interesting choice you could have actually taken out the four five but instead you killed the three three. Oh, you didn't want to use the ability i understand sure Jester Pooh, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Everything is all right. Wow, every friggin' turn. This is unbelievable, dude. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. They're just going to take six, right? Sure. Deal. Wow, they whiffed. Yeah, the problem is their double striking knights are through. Oh, actually, they get a counter, though, so it's actually pretty good. Just this guy? What? What? This is very strange. A 
You look more handsome than other days. Well, all right. I appreciate that, I think. Okay. Did we just really trade a Thornhide Wolves for a Valiant Knight? What is going on right now? That was unexpected. I'm very curious about the things that are happening. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three, four, five blockers. I think it's it's our duty to get in there with the dread maw, right? Maybe we should have actually attacked with this guy, too, and then we have lethal on board. Yeah, I think that would have been safer. Because now we... Actually, we have flyers, so... Never mind. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's lethal on board if they have nothing else. I think we're good. Oh, let's just do that. I don't know how we won this game. I, I really don't. Like, throwing away this Valiant Knight was pretty insane. Yeah, all right, sleep will do. <laughs> we could have actually just attacked with 6666, six, 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 two, 2, and 1, 1 for 15 exactly. Um, but if they have anything for that, it's pretty bad. Like, even like revitalize, gain 3 life is pretty brutal. So I don't want to really risk that if I don't have to. <sighs> I don't actually think we have anything really relevant. They didn't have anything naturalizing or plummeting or root snaring, so... I have no idea how that just happened. That game was kind of ridiculous. I will keep this hand. I was pretty sure we were dead once they played this stupid Valiant Knight, but here we are. Here we are. Uptight, everything is all right. All right, this this curve looks gorgeous. One of these on three, this on four, this on five. Probably coarser, considering we already have uh, Skyrider Patrol to fill the blue requirement. Did they just miss a land drop? All right. I don't understand. Iron Chef Sammy, 29 months in a row. That's like a year. Yeah, man. That's like one whole year. That's impressive. Thank you for the one year subscription, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, they kept a one lander. Did they mulligan? No, because they wouldn't be discarding, right? Uh, Why didn't they mulligan? I'm very confused right now. I'll be honest with you guys. Something strange is afoot at the Circle K. Well, I'm pretty sure this game's over, but you know, we gotta play until they concede, so Alright, that'll do. Both teams played hard. Let's do it again. I'm going to keep this hand. We're on the draw. We have a bunch of early stuff.
There we go. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not uh, gotten tired of drafting this format yet. Uh, it's held my interest. It's not terrible. It seems like there's a lot of back and forth. There is a lot of interaction. Like, I don't hate it. As far as core sets go, this is not bad. It's no Dominaria, but... It's also no Vintage Cube. Alright. No Essence Scatter. Essence Scatter. Okay. I wish there was more dragons. You wish there were more dragons. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Hello. Nope. Uptight. Skyrider patrols all right. Oh, they missed a land drop? Hmm. I'm going to do this just because they could have Essence Scatter. Wait. Oh, it's another creature. I'm an idiot. Wow. I'm terrible at Magic the Gathering. All right. You guys didn't hear that? It's going gonna, it's gonna to sound like this. Yeah, that was pretty rough. That was the dumbest thing I could have done. I was trying to play around Essence Scatter. Like, I figured they don't have anything to do. Giving them essence, giving their Essence Scatter value is pretty bad. So I'm just going to just gonna use this ability. However, it's another creature, not itself. It can't actually put counters on itself. I also wanted to get it out of uh, Lightning Strike range, which makes it incredibly strong against the red-blue deck. But uh, that's not how that works. So... What can you do? Yep, that's what we were... I guess that's fine. <laughs> Big dumb six six idiots. Duda. So we just go sleep next turn if they play something and we just win the game. Yep, this is game over. Oh, it's not anymore, I guess. Dang, I got so excited. Oof, going to six here. I'm tempted to kill this guy. Because we have sleep for anything else they have. Omen sneaker. It's not a rare, bro. Would would a rare like? Because if it was rare, we'd put a counter. So I don't. I don't think this is a rate for a rare four mana for a two three flyer. And the game hath ended. Or five, three, three. Yeah, we're not gonna mess around here. Kill him. Put him in the thing. Got a bane fire and an essence scatter. Oh, uh, so we saw dwindle and manolith. I'm gonna bring in this naturalize. Choose a non-basic land card name. Lands your opponent's control with the chosen name. Lose all land types and abilities, and they gain add one mana card. Okay. Well. Sleep is like the blue uh, declare dominance. I'm going to keep this hand. I actually don't think any of the cards in our deck need two blue, so any one island is really good. And also, we don't have any blue cards in hand. So we're good for quite a while. All right, well, that's not what we're looking for. Splash the moons for his detection towers. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, I like that. I only like that because then we get to uh, resolve a spell arena. 
this guy into this guy into this guy all these guys don't care about that guy dang look how look at that perfect teamer mana base okay if we draw a blue we can nope can't do anything what is this going to be oh my god Look at how big it is. Oh, that was a good draw. Now I can play two things. Yeah, I'll just pass. For obvious reasons. Look at all these little dummies. Little dummies. We're actually going to upkeep it too, because the reason is, if the top card of your deck is a land, uh, you'd much rather pick it up with Green Seeker, because that lets you to, lets you draw the next card as well. So you kind of always want to make sure the top card is not a land. By doing something like this, and it's a gear per guide. Hmm... So now we can only do one thing here. We can just attack for three, which I think is important. They don't have any floats, so we can get in there. Lightning strike. Oh, plummet. Wow. How nice. <laughs> Gave your plummet value. What is this? Six mana? What are you doing here? I don't know what's going on. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh boy, we're having a good time. Always a pleasure. Well, got to find something here. All right, one down. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can make this guy 5-5, 6-6-8-5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 8, 5, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's still not enough. Yep, we're just gonna lose to that card, I guess. Boy, I want naturalize even more now. Too bad we only have one. Also wouldn't mind a way to like dwindle that guy or something, but that doesn't really do much, does it? Oh, this hand is great. We'll keep it. Any blue source, and we got a game. God, the number of games I lose to cards like Declare Dominance and Prodigious Growth is just pretty stupid. Give me a Centaur Courser, and a land, and then a 5 drop, and then a land. That's the order we want them in. Okay, well, that's not what we're looking for here, but I appreciate it. Man, every every game with the uh, the perfect mana base. I appreciate them not being the guy that wastes our time and being like, I'll attack my 1-3, see if you block. Yeah, man, I'll block. You got it. Don't kill my floaty boy. Alright, or do. Whatever you want to do, man. You knock yourself out. 4-5. Oh, God, really? You're going to rob me of a play this turn because you don't want to give me a blue mana? What a what a son of a biscuit. Y 
Yep. Don't mess with my bookcase, it is scary. It is a suspicious, suspicious bookcase every day. This is where you keep us and scatter mana up. I don't think we just play this, but I think we do. I'm just gonna play this guy and this guy and the fact that I, I think you have six there so I actually don't think you had us and scatter which makes me real sad yep I will just take four kind buds what's going on buddy welcome back always a pleasure the kind the kindest of buds all right I don't think you have us and scatter or else you would have used it Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what I thought. I think we're actually in good shape here. It seems strange. But if they don't have prodigious growth, I think we're okay. That is the that is the bane of our existence. They have one card in hand? Alright, I like it. Oof, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yes, that's a good card. Six, seven, eight. I'd like to have ten damage on board here. Yeah, this is probably just gonna single handedly. If they don't have a counter spell, this is probably gonna win us the game. Mm, sure. Less so now. All right. Well, that is unfortunate. It's fairly obnoxious. I mean, we could hit naturalize actually. Just one reason why we didn't block. Snapping Drake. We could go Courser, tap all your guys. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, followed by five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's definitely Courser here over the Drake, especially when we only have two blue. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could nine and nine them. We're just gonna attack with deck hand here. Because if they don't hit anything, this actually could be enough to to put them away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'd have to actually play this and sleep on the same turn. All right. Well, we're going to do that and hope they don't have anything. And uh, fingers crossed their last two cards are just nothing. Okay, that's close to nothing. Sleep, got to get the job done. All right, still still closing in. I'm just going to take it because the naturalized still puts us in really good shape here. Oh boy. Oh, we did it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Feeling okay about that. Uh, we're just fingers crossed they don't have like uh, the Bane fires in the graveyard. As long as you don't have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, double lava axe or all right. Whoo! That was good. What did they say though? Um, can we can we go back to the game? Uh, Bane fire rip. Good games. Nice, nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, if you enjoy the content and you want to support me in other ways, you can check out my Twitch page, which is in the description. Same with my Patreon page. Both of those are ways to support me and Patreon. I do provide new content pretty regularly. I do a 15-minute podcast every week called Frank Thoughts. And I also put some new articles up there every so often. Um, and you can support me there for as little as a dollar a month. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys next time.